Midnight comes calling. Guys, guess what? We're going on another adventure. Destination Hudson. But we're making a pit stop. Actually, we're going to make a pit stop on our way back. We're going to stop at my best friend's house. Um, I haven't seen him in a very long time, Antoine. And uh, he's got his new car. Nice classic car. So we're going to go check that out, say hi, and then we'll be coming back home. But we're going thrifting a bit because we're thrifters. Uh, let me tell you a bit about Hudson. It's a, a beautiful historic village on a lake and uh, the houses, the buildings, everything, the business buildings. It's so, so charming. Um, great vibes. It's off island. We're off island right now, Katie and I, on the highway. It's not that far. We're gonna hit the farmland soon, but uh, it feels, it, once you get there, you feel like you're away. Very New England-ish. Yeah. Uh, Vermont style, you know, it's uh, it's beautiful. So we'll show you a bit of a, a bit of it when we're there, um, and then we'll head out to Antoine's house, and uh, eventually I'll tell you how I met Antoine and what we've done together. We've done it all. <laughs> so we are arriving shortly in Hudson. We are in nature. So uh, Hudson and um, Saint Lazare, the, uh, the uh, next door borough are known for their ranches and horses so every second house here is kind of a ranch <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, horseback riding in the forest so everybody comes here to uh, to ride horses and uh, people that own horses leave them here in stables and people take care of them for them so it's a very cool cool vibe here we go we're in Hudson so um, all houses on the left of the road um, that you'll see are on this beautiful lake down there. You can't really see it because the leaves have not fallen yet. It's not fall yet. Can you believe that? But there's, uh, you know, you saw it a bit here, yeah. It's beautiful. So village is right down here. Our thrift shops are down here. So what we're gonna do, here's my thrift shop. It's a Nova. <laughs> But I'll go drop off Katie at her uh, thrift shop, which is also Nova, right? Yeah. Uh, but a different one. That it I absolutely only has clothes. I really like it too, but uh, it's got clothing. And the one that I want to go to obviously has knickknacks and Vinyl. what else? What else? Vinyl. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Look at this little restaurant right here. It's so charming. Look at this is a uh, sauna, barrel sauna business made here. And this is Hudson. On the right here, you have the famous pink house, which is a bed and breakfast. Look at that. It's so cute. It is so Louisiana style, beautiful. On the left here, we have Cardinal, which is a microbrewery. We've been there. Yeah, and then this is Bar Salon Chateau, Chateau du Lac, Lac, one of our favorite spots when we're riding our bike. <laughs> nice little drink. Another thrift shop here. You know, ice cream, cigars. It's amazing. And uh, oh Katie's gosh. thrift shop is right there. Another Nova, so I'll drop her off here. Coffee shops. We have friends that have a coffee shop here. And there she goes. Thrifting. <laughs> See you later, baby. Guys, you're stuck with me for a few minutes. Um, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're heading to my little Nova and I remember going in there for the first time um, there's this little section where the vinyl is but there's tons of stuff you know it's an old old cool house I'll, I'll show you around you'll love it the way I'll give you a hint of who Antoine is that you'll meet a little later this is him and this is the band I managed a long time ago Antoine and James I'll do a video on this eventually, but you Canadians and even Americans will remember Sky, Piece of Paradise. And this is the CD when we signed on Aresta Records with Clive Davis in New York. Uh, not in New York, sorry, in LA. So uh, yeah, memories, great memories. Isn't this charming? So all the houses around here are just like this one. <laughs> you know. Late 1800s, early 1900s. 
And this Nova is in one of those houses. And we're gonna go check it out together. All right, guys. That's the little room where I'll be going for the vinyl. I'll just take you upstairs very quickly. Look at this. <laughs> this could be scary for some. I remember when we brought the kids here, they were like, what is this, a haunted house? And then you go upstairs with the crackling stairs and all these <laughs> paintings that we told them we're alive. And then you have all this. Isn't this beautiful? And down here, up here, sorry, they have a, uh, uh, a wedding dress business, which is super cool. Look at it. These are, I gotta say, Katie hates these. They freak her out. I don't mind them. But look at this. Isn't this amazing? So all pre-owned, or as I like to say, pre-loved because I have owned a thrift shop before. Dresses. It's amazing. So you come here, I think you can even rent for the event, which is perfect. And we'll go back downstairs. This is nice with the boats. I don't know what this is. Oh, Wall Street, look at this. Isn't that nice? What year? 1930 Wall Street. Wow. Yeah. Treasure Cove. And this is what Katie absolutely hates. I love this one. And I'll take you over here to another room. Tons of nice, beautiful lamps, knickknacks. Look at these beautiful wooden ceilings. <laughs> I mean, I could spend hours in this place, which I did last time. In the back here, they have tennis, right? They have a bit of everything, sports stuff. Oh, I like this. It's little fishing things. That's my jam. Hey guys, let's go to the room where I uh, where I want to be. <laughs> I'll have to sit down because they're on the floor somewhere. If there is some, I don't know. I haven't been here in a while. Uh, but uh, here we go. The game room. Books, DVDs, some vintage games, and some... Uh, oh! Sports ESPN, seen it. I've never seen that. Never know about it. I might find my NFL cards here. Or a nice music book. I was just talking about Norm. Oh. Wow, this is cool. What is this? Oh, it's DVDs. Damn, I don't watch DVDs. I do VHS. Tons of great books. I got to start reading again. I miss it. I was never a huge reader. Unfortunately, it's not a natural thing for me. But every time I start a book, I get so deeply into it, I can't stop. Jackie Onassis. Oh, the Onassis women. Steve Jobs which I'm sure is absolutely captivating. And then, there's only a little pile. Let's check it out. So I'm lying down, because that's the only way I can check these out. And uh, Donnie Osmond. <laughs> Jane Oliver. Who is this? I do not know. Obviously, Barbara, Barbara.
Oh boy. <laughs> I always, always see these and I love them. I love the covers. I've never gotten one. Pups, pearlies, and pints. What's this? Let's call my name. I'll check it after. Tops for dancing. Rex Smith. No idea. We'll have to check it out. Andy Stewart. The Alexander Brothers. Tchaikovsky. Lyona Boyd. <laughs> Look at this cover. Oh my god. Michel Legrand. James Last. One of the this is one of the most popular in the thrift shops. And he just stays there forever. The Oscar. Is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I looked up Rex Smith. I listened to his songs. Not really my jam. This it could have been fun. There's a little bit of a Tony Bennett on it. Love Tony, but... Oh, what is this? The Ritchie family. Give me a break. Who are they? Well, I'm going to look them up. Hagrid Hardy. Maybe tomorrow. Love the cover. Love his style. I'm going to look him up. Claim a picture all over the movie. Five stars still. No, Barbados. Denise McCann. I have a destiny. I'm going to look her up. Who else? I love you. <laughs> Who's this guy? Come on. Lover. Love is blue. So are my love. My God. Oh, who's this guy? I want to be his friend. Looking this up. This I probably already have. The Hollies, blah, blah, blah. You know, today is, by the way, win that spin. I'll be posting it a little later. Al Martino, no. Denise McKen again, so I got to look her up. I don't know who he is. Who's this guy? Don't know him. Whoa. Final, please, please. Oh. Then you have this, Keeping Time, Paul Gabara. Well, we love the cover though. Who is he? Gonna look him up. Uh, Christmas Chimes, no. Oh, Canada the Gold, the original hits. Miles and Lenny, Terry Jacks, Steppenwolf, and Murray. Andy Kim, April Ryan, Rush, Paul Ank. Okay, this is my jam. This is perfect for a win that spin. Actually, you know what? Might be today's. Today's fine, today's spin. And then you got more Jerry Vales. No, not my thing. I like the sign here, read or else. Pretty cool. And then you go down and then you get this guy. Isn't he in uh, US elections right now? Trump? I think he is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Funny how they pulled out the book to show. Yeah. All right, I'm going to leave with uh, two or three albums that I found interesting and uh, go meet, meet up with Katie and then go see Antoine. I'll head out to the front and pay for my vinyl. Have a little look around here. I saw this earlier. This is very cool. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? And then you got all these traveling every time i see uh those maracas uh you know who the maracas king is mgk buffalo uh sorry boston <laughs> to this guy I didn't make you, wait. you didn't make me wait no no i, I waited for you because yeah. i love you I james dean is in the house and then you gotta, but oh man this is this is incredible but no room for it hey Look who decided to, uh, huh? How are you? So how was your shopping? Great. You found some stuff? Of course. That's cool. Yeah. Babe, if ever we have another one. Another one. <laughs> so that's it. Look at it. Oh, look at this house. <laughs> Isn't this charming? 
<laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're out. Going through the rest of Hudson. Look at these buildings and businesses, cafes. So, so charming. Katie has a good friend that owns a cafe right here on the corner. Yeah, it's sure. a coffee, candy store, oh, ice been. cream, and then you got the little restaurant next to it. So, so Deb cool. Deb and Jay. Yeah. A few bikers. Yeah, be careful, bro. Now in St. Lazar, this is, uh, as you can see, upper scale neighborhood. Used to be all a forest that developed pine forest mostly and uh, beautiful houses now. I like the, the style of the houses, right babe? Yeah. We're almost at Antoine's. Oh, I, I can spot his car. His little Chrysler 300, I think. Antoine sold his Road King Harley Davidson because he didn't use it enough. The family didn't profit. And look at that. Look oh, that is, oh, yeah. Did you see what just happened? Yeah. You know what this is? Come. Watch. So, I thought this was a, a, a camera. I put my face in front of it, as you can see. That's what it does. That's wrong. You're special. What's up, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, okay. Here they are. So my friend Antoine has chicken. You should see the eggs. It's an egg factory here. What? <laughs> Two of them are out. Ah. Hi. Isn't this cool? You guys are amazing. We want some at home too. We're not allowed, but we might do it eventually. <laughs> so cool. All right, guys, so we made it to Antoine's house. Here we are. <laughs> hey, Ling, you're friend of Bataro. We right? used to be. Uh, so so we, he wants to speak French, and Joey is there, his wife, and she loves Oh, yeah, that. you're we're, an English we're channel. We're in English. We're an English channel. So we're, English. We're, we're all the English. We have no Cana a few Canadians, a, a few Quebecers, but it's all anglophone. Moi, je parle français aussi, par exemple. Moi aussi, je parle français, qu'il parle de Donc, pour les Québécois qui nous écoutent, on parle français, mais là, il va nous faire... Il nous voit mon gros chat! Look at this beauty, so he... So like I was saying earlier, Antoine had a beautiful mint condition Road King Harley uh, anniversary edition, and uh, but his family didn't profit enough from it, so nope. he decided to make the move, which must have been really hard. But he wasn't using it enough. He yeah. needs he needs a, he needs to move. He needs yeah, to. Well, you know what? Me in a general fashion, I don't get attached to material things. You know? I know you move. Yeah, I move on, man. I'm, I like. I keep on. I keep on jiggling. He keeps on keeping on. His whole life, his whole career has been Evolution. moving. Evolution. Evolution. Keep Doing on things keeping he on. Loves. No, but really, like you say, I mean, it's obviously it's great that now you know I can bring the kids in. I can bring my wife. It's crazy. And also because of the restaurants, for you kids who don't know, I have a beautiful restaurant oh, well, here in San Lazar. No, we're going to come and visit you on another, oh, another, we're going to be another doing, episode. Yes, the Bistro, <laughs> Rebe, the Rebel Bistro. So you, right. we'll be taking you there. It's very amazing. good. So I can do all my little errands, you know, go get my wines and go get my booze. And like I was just saying, he's going to show us the trunk. You can fit six yep. bodies. So he can pass six me across the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MGK Boston, I'm coming to the party in the trunk. So we'll do what, what they call, uh, what is, is it, like a uh, roll around? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, turn uh, around? Uh, uh, a walk around. A walk around. It's oh, a walk boy. around. Come. Let's start by the most boring, which <laughs> is the trunk, <laughs> where you can fit all these bodies. But obviously, you know, you, oh never, know, you never know how things could be bad. So, you know, you just get in there. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think, can get, I think you can get in here, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> You see? Do you want me to lock him in there or can you get out? I'm scared in the dark. <laughs> hey, hey, by the way, we'll, think... uh, we'll do another story eventually, but Antoine and I, we uh, left on a motorcycle in the fall one day, went through Vermont, peak of the mountains. Midnight. My, minus, like crazy. minus 10. Our tent was this big. Yeah. This is how we sleep. We <laughs> like that. Like this. With butts and cowboy boots. <laughs> big spoon, little butts spoon. And cowboy boots. Oh my God. Have you guys ever been in a trunk together? Uh, is that a first? We no, should have. That, I'm surprised you haven't. That's a first. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, never no, happened before. Not. All right. So, all right. Um, so important, important fact: the spare is actually the 1966 wow. spare tire. You don't see those a lot. So those those aren't because it's not the no, same white wall. Exactly. Those are not the original tires. 
obviously uh, they wouldn't last that long being in the sun and all that. Oh, they would have cracked. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I to be honest, I don't think I would use that <laughs> spare tire. Right. Did we say this was a Chrysler 300? At the beginning? Yeah, 1966, did because we? Because I didn't even I know so. Chrysler 300s existed back then. You know those, they, they came back very popular as yeah. kind of a muscle car. Actually, in 1966 and a couple of around those years, um, Chrysler made four models that were very close to each other. You had the 300, uh, the New Yorker, um, the Imperial, and I forget the fourth one. But that's not I told bad. Him get, I told him to get ready for this, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Listen, oh, three out of four ain't bad. No, but you know you what I like the most? Man, go check out. You gotta check. You gotta come in the car. You, gotta come Is that you feel like you're actually in a little lounge. You know? It's so cool. You open the door and all of a sudden already you've got this little eclairage, you know? Wow. Look at the lights. Look at the lights, babe. The lights, like you're in a little. Uh, it's like a nightclub. You want, yeah, you want to light a cigar. So or look something. at this. Look at this, man. You get, you get AC. You so got this cool. little drawer here that comes yeah, you out. You got your own ashtray. The you can reach the lighter. ashtray. You have the lighter. Look at the stick on this baby. This is OG. OG oh my 66. God, look at this. The storage. This is so cool. This had the seat belts. Is this original? The seat belts. Yeah. So these I, are the seat belt. Back in the days, because they didn't mind if you, you know, you break your head. They didn't care. It was all about. It was all about the pelvic. The region. lap belt. <laughs> yeah, it, was all, it was all about the pelvic region. So they figured if it's good for a plane, it's good enough. It's good for a car. <laughs> Safety so first. <laughs> that's all you need, you know. And so you're you're you strapped. Get your key. I got my keys, man. Just start her up two seconds. Hey, you want to know something crazy that they did back in this car? Because you know I'm an audio guy, and you know I love audio. So back then the sound system weren't that great, but they included in the sound system a reverb, a plate reverb. Oh, seriously? For the back speaker, so they would put a little reverb. And actually, when you turn on the radio, which it's not going to work, but there's like a knob that actually puts reverb on the radio. Seriously? Like, how crazy is that? That's amazing. This is. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the glass. I sold my Harley. I ain't getting no small block. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, this is so cool. Uh, and the inside is absolutely look at the inside. I know, it's incredible. Wow. Pristine. So, it's a, it's a cool combination, this car, because obviously it's got that very luxurious inside, you know, very classy. But then again, back in those years, they had these crazy muscle car motors. And um, that's where, that's one of the first year where Chrysler introduced uh, the big block 440, which was at that time, their strongest motor, the most powerful motor that Chrysler had uh, back in those years. And so, uh, this is incredible. Oh, oh, oh. When you see the actual motor shake in there, you know you've got power. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. She's a beauty. Yeah. Does oh, she have a name? Amazing. Not yet. Well, you name know why people say the first question is, it must cost a lot in gas. But you know, it's an eight cylinder. So obviously it drinks a lot of gas. Yeah. But my wife has a Tesla. Yeah. So we're balancing things oh, out. There you, you know, it's go. Like it's there a, you go. It's like if we had two four cylinders. <laughs> fair is fair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, it's a beauty, man. Well, Congrats. I'm pretty happy you came to see that, my man. <laughs> That's amazing. You right. need to tell okay, us when I you name her. I see you. Yeah. Keep to see him, but then this next is time just you guys a bonus. Are gonna come to the restaurant. Yes, yeah, of next course. time we're. Oh yeah, we're gonna come to. The, we're gonna do it. Right. Yeah, we're gonna be doing. When you're ready, not too busy. I'm always ready. I'll be. Uh, we'll be having. He was a born drink ready. I'm store. born ready. Because <laughs> Atuan, we'll do a few videos together. But Atuan is a renowned uh, cook chef here. He's got a whole story. Maybe we'll do. I want to do a sky we, thing. We should. We should. We, we should. do because I think it's these important. are all music people, and and I, I already. I, I told that I, I told him I was coming to see you, and then I pulled out the cassette and CD that I have. There's we a whole do, story. We should do a Sky Stories. We've got some good stories. S six stories. EMI. So, you know, this guy signed on EMI Music Canada. A a don't tell the, the story stage. right away. Shh. All right. Snitches. Another, uh, okay. another yeah, video. Yeah, another All video. Right. All right. Don't be All ridiculous. Right, so, uh, Peace out. Peace out. And look what Antoine gave us. So they have, I forgot to show you, huge garden, because obviously he loves cooking and all that, but they have bees. 
and uh, they have honey every year and this is the latest <laughs> crop of honey and we got some uh, we didn't get any eggs though Antoine why do we get any eggs Oh, uh, no eggs. They probably eat them all. They got beautiful chickens. So we got honey. All right, ciao. So they uh, were leaving. We're going back home. I'll show you. Uh, actually, Katie, you could show the vinyl. I was so happy to see Antoine, uh, my uh, oldest friend, best friend. So here we go. So um, what did I get? It's Keeping Time by Paul Gabara. So I looked it up a bit. I, I You know what? A little bit of a Billy Joel type of vibe there's a song with donna summer oh I, and then i got this here canada the gold so this is the good going to be the win that spin for today uh very exciting great artists on that you'll see that on facebook very shortly and what's the other one? Oh yeah the pub one so that i looked up listen i go on discogs i check it out and uh i see uh <laughs> the last one was sold was like uh 40 50 60 bucks i'm like what i'm paying this a dollar uh, plus it looks pretty cool so it's Canadian I, I, I'm buying it I'm gonna listen to it and worst case I'll just put it on my wall whoa go down so that's it that's our journey uh, Katie and I had a good time we saw Joe and Antoine he showed us the car and you you were gonna see it in this video Wow you probably cool. saw it it's sick and uh, we'll be doing a few <laughs> videos Antoine and I talking about uh, you know Antoine loves that stuff we're talking about the restaurant he's a, he's a musician he's a producer uh, he's he's a writer. He's everything. So he's got a studio in the house. I'll take you down there once. He sold a lot of his stuff because when you move from one project to another, you need to. Uh, here, no? Yeah, you need to uh, sell a few things to buy other things. But uh, that's it. You guys take care. Thanks for hanging around with us. Yeah, uh, we had a good time. Hope you had a good time. Beautiful day here, Montreal and its surroundings. And talk to you soon. Ciao.